Time now to look forward to an event which is taking place this weekend uh, based out of Letterkenny. It is, of course, the Donegal Half Marathon. I'm delighted to say joining me is race director, uh, Brendan Herbie McDade. Brendan, how are you doing? Hi, Archie. Uh, busy day ahead for you guys. Um, I suppose it didn't take long for this event to, to sell out, Brendan. Um, as you said to me earlier, normally when it comes around to events and different events, you'd you be looking to close out the entries near the time of the event. But this thing sold out very, very quick, so it did when you announced there'd be 400 entries. It, it didn't end up, uh, the entry has been open for well, well over, probably over a year, really. And the last number of months, then we had put in a little bit of push and we were uh, restricted to that number of 400. Um, we kind of waves of 200 for um, for any event and once we put that message out there it, it, it sold out fairly quickly yeah uh, obviously a lot of interest uh, in the event and uh, i know this week before we look at the competitors uh brendan i know this week you, you put a call out for for volunteers and, and marshals and people to help out on sunday morning yeah with the, the event that is in it and the many sort of junctions and the crowds that we'll have on the street um, it's very important that safety is, you know, is maintained in it. Uh, now, while we have a number of, of uh, sort of loyal stewards that are there at nearly every event for us, uh, for this particular one, we need a few extra. So we're working closely with the Donegal Volunteer Centre and, of course, with our own Letterkenny Athletic Club members. Uh, but again, if there's anybody out there like to help out at a water station or at a junction, even if it's only for one hour, we can we can allocate them to a certain point that'll sort of cater for that. Yeah, uh, water stations can be important, particularly at this distance and given the heat we're having this week at the minute, Herbie. Oh, it is, and, and like we always see now with half marathon anyway, we would normally have probably more than what's um, usual for a race. Um, we have one sort of every three mile, and uh, we have an extra one then in between out at the turn point at Rochiduk. Just uh, again with the the way the weather is going to be on Sunday, I think it'll be needed. And then, of course, we always have um, a few marshals sort of up and down the course just to make sure everybody is okay and feeling all right. And uh, they, you know, will hand out any additional water in between stations if required. Yeah, were you worried at any stage along the way that COVID may have an impact on this again, Brendan? Well, we were, of course, uh, early on when we seen. You know, that events were starting up again. We thought, great, we're going to be okay. But then with the new Delta variant coming in and that sort of slowed things up again, you know, back to opening up. So it was always in the back of our head that, yeah, you know, it, it could go virtual again, which we didn't want to do because we'd sort of put out a message early on that we were definitely going to have, a, a you know, an actual event. And then with a bit of change in it that you could have uh, waves of 200 uh, at the event, you know that sort of reinforces that we could cater for the 400. So we had we had ordered our 400 T-shirts and our 400 medals, and once we sort of reached that number, then we had to close it down. Yeah, uh, this event has sort of evolved. It was, of course, the Donegal Marathon, and then you changed it then to to the Half Marathon. Um, has there been any changes or alterations to the course since it was last held two years ago, Brendan? Maybe you'll, you'll take us around the route. Yeah, no, there hasn't been many changes. In 2018, we made one little change uh, because there were a lot of road work going on in the Pierce Road um, around where the station house hotel is. So now the, the race starts, all the registration and number collection, race pack and so on is going to be in the uh, Oral Leisure Centre. And that's from Saturday from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. And we would ask as many locals as possible to come along on Saturday and collect their number and race pack so as we're not too busy on the sunday morning but we'll also be open from eight to nine on sunday morning for those who can't make it on the saturday uh the race then starts at uh, charge kelly building suppliers just on the battle McCool road heading in towards letter kenny uh goes up the main street turning right down largan's laneway left along the pierce road and turning right then down past Devers High Andy, straight through the roundabout at New Dons, onto the Polestar roundabout, taking a left in the Port Road, which is in past the LYIT, into the station household um, roundabout, up the Port Road and down the main street, 
and then it heads back out again out to Malmacool Road, past the start line, past Aura, straight through the roundabout at St. Durans, and then it continues on out past the town park and Conwell Graveyard, right out to the uh, junction at Glenties, taking the left road for Glenties, and then we do uh, a left horn at the second exit on that road back in towards Rock Hill, uh, New Mills first of all, of course, and then Rock Hill, uh, which leads you into the bottom of the uh, old town again, over the bridge of the old town, past the old on stores, back out Ballamacool, and then the race goes in the little laneway at the back of Vora, right around the back of the building, and finishes with the 300 metres on the track. Okay, very good. Uh, that's the, the route, that's the course, uh, Brendan, but what about those that are competing? Um, there's no more entries open. Who do we need to, to watch out for? And is there any farm runners over events that we've had in the Northwest over the last couple of weeks heading into this? Um, it's it's difficult, to, difficult to know. Uh, Cameron McMonigal, who won it on a number of occasions, he actually won the marathon in the early stages and half marathon in later stages. Um, I would say he would go in favourites. Um, also, you have Mark McPaul, who actually worked for the Kiernan Group that, that sponsored the event. Uh, he's been in good form recently, and I would say he'd be he would love to be there thereabouts to take um, one of the prizes in it. Uh, and the women's end of it, um, just looking at Andre Monica McGrannan is probably one of the leading runners in it. Now, of course, there is a number of entries from from the north, and there's a few from the UK in that, and we're just not that sure what caliber of runner they're going to be. So, on the day, we might get a few surprises. Yeah, well, listen, we'll have to, to wait and see. Just one more call for the volunteers, Brendan. If, the, if they want to get involved, who do they contact? Uh, they can contact any committee member or the Donegal Volunteer Centre, um, and then they'll be allocated a, a position. And just for the volunteers, as can you donate it by Optum? There's a polo shirt and a wee goodie bag that we send them on their way with before the event. Very good. Okay. Listen, Brendan, thanks for talking to us and the best of luck on Sunday. Thanks, Arjun.